Hi there, I'm AJ with BCP and in this video we will try and understand what is Azure Service Principle, why do you need it and how to create it. So let's discuss Azure Service Principle. I have heard this a lot of time and most of the people even don't have idea what is it. Well. Azure Service Principle is an identity created to use with applications, hosted services and automated tools so that you can access Azure resources. But what kind of resources you can access that depends on the role assigned to it. So maybe you are working on an automation process or maybe you are using your user specific credential for one particular application. So in that case, you can utilize the service principle where you don't need to authorize it again and again and it can also get the data automatically from your key vault. For example, you are setting up a Power BI data gateway in your organization and you don't want to use for the data source credentials as your user specific or maybe you are just setting it up for the very first time on a server and that time you need to use one username and password. So instead of using your personal username and password, what you can do, you can use a service principle. Now, the final question comes, how we are going to create it? So, in order to do that, I need to head over to my laptop where I can show you step by step how you can do it. So, the very first, if you would like to learn more about Azure Service Principle, how to work with it, and what are the different application objects while working with Azure, you can come over here on this website. This website is going to give you all the details about application registration, application object, what are the different service principal objects and how to work with them, what is the relationship between application object and service principal, how do they work together and how you can utilize service principal while working with Azure resources. So that's the first part. Now on the second part which was my third question how to create Azure service principal. So, in that part, I'm going to let you know how you can create it quickly. So what you have to do, first of all, you have to log in on your portal.azure.com. Over here, you have to go on Azure Active Directory. Once you are under your Azure Active Directory here, we are going to register one app to create our service principal account. So just click on this app registration and on new registration. Once you are over here, you have to provide certain details, for example, name of your app which I'm going to say it's going to be BCP app. That's all. Select the first option only because this is the one I'm going to use for my own tenant, which is biconsultingpro.com. And after that, you have to select web over here. Over here, you can provide one URL or HTTPS address. It is optional whether you want to do it or not. It's totally up to you. So this is going to be my web URL that I have provided. And after that, simply hit on this register button. Once you hit it, it's going to take a couple of seconds and then your application is going to be created. Once it's created, you have to now create the credentials that you are going to use whenever you are going to use this service principal account. So let's click on this client credentials and over here we have to just click on this button which you can see new client secret. Now we are going to add a client secret and over here we have to provide a description and also we have to set the validity of this client secret. You can select any number of these. Basically, if you want to customize it, you can customize it. Otherwise, there are some recommended, for example, six months. Over here, I'm selecting 24 months and I'm going to say BCP client secret. That's all I'm going to do over here. And after that, I'm going to click on this add button. It's going to create very soon. So it's being created over here. You can see that. Now we have our secret ID and the value. What we have to do next, we have to store it in some secure place. So what can be the secure place? Are you going to write it on a paper or are you going to save it in your own computer? Well, that's not going to happen. So in order to save our all the secret certificates and the keys, what we can use, we can use the key vault in Azure. So how to find one or how to create one? Let me show you now. So what you have to do, you have to come on home. Over here, either you can just select this key vaults or you can search from the top bar as well. So let me click over here. Here I'm going to create the new one. So click on this create button. Here you have to select your resource group. Then enter your key vault name, which I'm going to say BCP key vault. So let me see 
key vault so i hope so that name is going to be correct and yes it's working and over here there are certain other information please go through them and select it i'm not going to do any other over here though i'm going to select these policies and here i can say okay this is for this user where you can grant permission what kind of permission you are going to grant for this particular user to use this key vault and after that you have to simply review and create it so let me validate it and it's going to take some time after that this create button is going to appear and here you can see that so just click on this create but please remember that you should copy that value from the app registration where we have created our client secrets now it would take certain time to get deploy so you can wait it or you can just grab a cup of coffee it's going to be done soon now i'm going to come back over here and i'm going to wait till it's going to get completed and you can also view under the notification whether it's working or not you can check the progress over here and you can see that deployment has been succeeded so please click on this go to resources button and once you are over here you have to come on your left hand side panel and over here you would find the secrets tab just click on this and here we are going to generate or import so click on this again i'm going to say manual over here you have to give it a name so i'm going to say bcp app secret and over here i have to paste my value that i copied from if you would like to type the content type you can do it over here please feel free to do that you can even set the activation date which i'm gonna keep my today's date itself and the timing and then you have to enable it if you would like to set the expiration date then you can do that too so if you want to add certain tags you can do that and then just hit on this create button it's gonna take some time and it's gonna create it well it's been created over here otherwise you can also refresh it and you can see that it has been created bcp app secret it's been enabled and now you can use it while working with the different azure services now i really hope that it's been clear to you what is service principle why do you need it and how you can create one if you have any question and concern please don't forget to let us know also if you're over here for the very first time please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon See you in the next video.